louder than the unbelief. I raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. I raise a
How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to me a wretch his treasure how great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face to as wounds which my My sin upon his shoulders Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. Desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Be imagine so great a mercy. What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God who ages step down from glory. To wear my sin and bear my shame. Come on. The cross has broken. I am forgiven. The King of Kings holds me his own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my name.
comfort of your home. Hallelujah. Can you just lift your hands up high? Hallelujah. And praise Him. Hallelujah. And worship Him. Hallelujah. Sa ganito mga pamamanahon, dito po nagiging mas malalim ang pagsamba, mas makabuluhan ang pagpupuri, mas matindi ang pagpapasalamat sa Kanya because we can confidently say in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Declare His name. His name is powerful. Hallelujah. Ah, He's above every situation. He's above every circumstance. Hallelujah. He is high and lifted up. His name is Jesus Christ. Come on, declare Jesus is life. Hallelujah. Father God, worshiping you, honoring you in our lives, Lord. Father God, bless this day, bless this beautiful Sunday morning, Father God. We give you praise, we give you honor. Bless your people, bless every family right now. Lord, we speak healing, Lord God, to every sick person, Lord God, in every home. In Jesus' name, Lord God, in Jesus' name, we speak freedom, Lord. We speak liberty, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. Bless your people. Bless your servant and bless your word. This we ask in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's people say a loud, loud amen. Woo! Everybody shout hallelujah. Ah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Grace-filled Sunday to everyone. Would you please shout to your neighbors to be blessed again? Grace, hallelujah, praise God. Woo. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our church online 2.0. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, church online 2.0. It was March 2020 that we started our church online, and here we are again. Everybody say, here we are again. Come on, hallelujah. Sustained by grace. Hallelujah. Standing still by grace. Everybody said amen to that. Supplied by the grace of God. He was faithful then, faithful now, and He will be faithful till the end. Come on, palapakan mo nga si Lord John. Hallelujah. That is why be ready for grace 2.0. Hallelujah. Praise God. And before you sit down, give your neighbor a high five. Sigawan mo siya ng grace, grace, grace. Come on. Hallelujah. Woo, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Sino po ang talagang makapagpapatutuon na you were sustained by the grace of God? You are still standing by the grace of God. At talaga namang ibinuhos ni Lord sa atin, you know, March 2020 up till today, March 2021, hindi pa nagkulang ang Diyos sa'yo. Hallelujah. Come on, palakpakan mo nga si Lord John. Hey, Amen. Are you ready for the word today? Are you ready for the word? All right, let me start off with 
God's encouraging word. Let me go direct to the word today. 1 Corinthians 10.13. I hope it will encourage you today. Sabi po dito, we all experience times of testing. Lahat po na sumasang ayon dyan, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Walang exempted. No? We all experience times of testing which is normal for every human being. Tell your neighbor right now, it's normal. Come on. Hallelujah. Whew, hallelujah. But, look at this. God will be faithful to you. What a word. Hallelujah. Sabi pa dyan, He will screen. Ang ganda lang ito. Sabi niya, He will screen, filter, the severity, the nature, and timing of every test or trial you face so that you can bear it. Tell your neighbor right now, kaya mo yan with God's grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi pa nga dito, and each test is an opportunity to trust Him more for along with every trial, God has provided for you a way of escape escape that will bring you out of it victoriously and everybody said amen to that what a word everybody say what a word hallelujah this sunday i want to speak to you on the message entitled grow your faith and grow in wisdom come on it's time to grow your faith come on hallelujah grow your faith and grow in wisdom james 1 2 to 8 let's read this passage together sabi dito Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ang tawag po lang dyan ay bawal ang nakasimangot ngayon. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you know, everybody say, I know, come on. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Everybody say, what a word. Hallelujah. Verse 5, sabi pa nga If you need, look at this, how faith is connected to wisdom. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask Him, be sure that your faith is in... Come on, shout it out. God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world. And they are unstable in everything they do. Next line. Yun na yun. Hallelujah. Wala nang next line. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. What is James saying to us in this passage? Ano sinasabi sa atin ni James dito? Listen. Every testing is an opportunity to grow your faith. Come on, come on, give God praise to that, okay? Every testing is an opportunity to grow your faith. Shout to your neighbor, sabi mo lang sa kanya, grow your faith, come on. Every trouble is an opportunity to grow your faith. Every trial is an opportunity to grow your faith. Growing your faith builds your endurance. Everybody said a loud amen to that. Where do we get our endurance? By growing our faith. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Isang taon na po tayo. Lahat po nang talagang matibay pa yung kanilang endurance magsabi ng amen. Hallelujah. Kasi po, ang sabi niyan, confident faith is not double-minded. It is not undecided. It is not half-hearted. It doesn't waver. It's not unstable. That's why we need to grow our faith. Growing your faith makes you stronger than ever. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Ooh. Come on, pwede nga natin, pwede ba tayo mag-umuha uh, uh, ng confession of faith right now? Everybody say, I am stronger than ever. Come on, hallelujah. Oh! That's a statement of faith. 
Amen? Come on. High five mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa nga, you are stronger than ever. James 1.12, yan ang sinasabi sa atin. Anong sabi dyan? If your faith remains strong, even while surrounded by life's difficulties, you will continue to experience the untold blessings of God. Ang dami na po nakapagpatutuo niyan. Sa gitna ng pandemic, doon pa sila pinagpalang matindi ni Lord. Everybody say, stronger than ever. Ooh, hallelujah. May kasunod pa yan. Through happiness comes as you pass the test with faith. Gusto mo maging masaya? Pass the test passed the test of faith and received the victorious crown of life promised to every lover of God. Lahat po ng mga nagmamahal sa Diyos magsabi ng Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. See, growing your faith is to grow in wisdom. You know, again, no, makikita natin sa James na uh, yung faith connected din sa wisdom. Growing your faith is to grow in wisdom. James 1, 5 and 6, ito po sabi niya, if you need wisdom, look at this, ask our generous God and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask Him, look at this, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Wisdom, everybody say wisdom, is something that grows in us progressively as we continuously walk by faith. Did you hear that? Wisdom is something that grows in us progressively as we continuously walk by faith. The Bible declares, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth. Did you hear that? Sabi ng Bible, the Lord by wisdom founded the earth by understanding He established the heavens. In other words, this, this passage tells us wisdom comes from God. That is why we need to pursue a life of wisdom. Ephesians 5, 15 and 16, ano sabi sa atin dito? So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. It went on. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody, meron pa ba? Kasunod? Thank you, Jesus. Ang gando na lang. Hallelujah. Everybody said, Amen to that. Hallelujah. Amen? Walk in wisdom. His name is Max Born. He was a close friend of Albert Einstein, which most of you know, by the way. He's the grandfather of singer-actress Olivia Newton-John. His name is Max Born, a personal friend of Albert Einstein. He was a nuclear physicist and one of the most brilliant minds of the 20th century. In an interview on German television, he said these words, and these are his words. I would be happier if we have scientists with less brain and more wisdom. Lahat po nang nag-agree dyan, magsabi ng malakas na malakas na amen. Pwede ba natin palakpakan naman si Lord dyan? How relevant that statement is in our times. Maraming mga, you know, maraming alam, you know, filled with information. Pero sabi niya, gusto ko lang ulitin ko lang yung sinabi niya, I would be happier if we had scientists with less brain and more wisdom. We need wisdom, especially in these challenging times. We need the wisdom of God. We may know how to split the atom, make machines that talk, make a supercomputer, scan the electrical activities of our brain. But a lot of people struggle 
about how to make life work. Ang galing! Sa paggawa ng computer, they can split the atom. But they could hardly make life work. In our search for meaning and purpose, we simply lack the wisdom we truly need. That is why we need God. Pag inalis mo si Lord sa equation, wala. Kaya po ba'y nandyan pa? Maybe that's the reason why, you know, with all the advances in technology, look where we are right now. A tiny virus. Let's challenge a lot of people today. Parang sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin, magbalik loob lang kayo sa akin. Sa kanya na nang pinanggagalingan ng true wisdom. We need God and we need His wisdom. That is why, yan ang sinasabi ni James. Kasi po, ang konteksto doon sa binasa natin, talagang napakatindi ng pinagdadaanan ng mga kausap ni James. They were going through some, you know, really, really tough times just like most of us are going through right now. And maybe this, the book of James is so relevant to us. Pero nasabi ni James, you grow your faith and you grow in wisdom. Are you following right now? Are you following right now? So we need the wisdom of God today. We don't need more information. Ang dami na yan. Kumisan nakakalito na nga sa internet. You know? Tama ba ako? Sino po yung nakaka-relate dyan? Come on, you know, you know, ito ba, ito ba, ito ba, you know, ang dami mong mga, you know, nire-research information about this and this and this. You know what? Ano sabi ni Lord sa atin? Hindi mo na kailangan ng maraming information. You need my wisdom, sabi ni Lord. Come on, hallelujah. So you please tell your neighbor right now, you need God's wisdom. Yun ang sabi ni James, grow your faith and grow in wisdom. That's what we need today. How do we grow in wisdom? Let me give you three things. No? Sino gusto mag-grow sa wisdom? Come on, hallelujah. Sino po? Come on, you, you want to grow in wisdom? You know, let me give you three things on how to grow in wisdom. Number one, napaka-simple lang. You know? Kasi pag, uh, alam nyo, alam, na, alam mo na wisdom galing kay Lord yan kapag uh, nagiging pinapasimple ni Lord yung kanyang truth. And I said, Amen, hallelujah. Yung hindi ito komplikado. Now, how do we grow in wisdom? Number one, simple lang. Ask God for wisdom. Napaka-simple, no? Parang, come on, hallelujah. No? Talaga si Lord, napaka-simple lang. You want to grow in wisdom? Hindi komplikado. Ask God for wisdom. Yan ang sabi ni James. James 1.5. Basahin natin. Look at this. Hallelujah. And if anyone longs to be wise, look at this. Sabi ni James. Ask God for wisdom. Want to grow in wisdom? Ask. You don't have because you don't ask. Alam niyo, sa totoo lang, ito yun eh. Kumisan kaya wala, wala tayo kasi kumisan, we take for granted the things that we really need in life eh. Like wisdom. You wake up in the, in the morning and make this one of your prayers, Lord, I need wisdom today. I think it's about time. Tell your neighbor right now, it's about time. Hallelujah. Kasi pati yung mga challenges natin, kaya nga, oh, si James talagang, oh, hallelujah. Grow your faith and you need wisdom. Sabi ni James, if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and He will give it. Oh, yun. Napaka-simple, no? Kayo po ba yung nandyan pa? Come on, hallelujah. So, humingi ka rin ng wisdom at bibigay ni Lord. He won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your failures, but He will overwhelm your failures with His generous grace. Come on. Everybody shout, Grace 2.0. Come on. Hallelujah. Yan ang kailangan natin ngayon. Hallelujah. Grace 2.0. Amen. Ano pag ibig sabihin yan? To ask God for wisdom is to acknowledge we don't know everything. Come on. Yung ibig sabihin niya, kaya ka humihingi ng wisdom, Lord, I don't, you know everything, Lord. That's why I'm asking you for wisdom. We 
Ask God for wisdom, you know, to acknowledge we don't know everything, to acknowledge we need His guidance and direction. Sino po yung kailangan ng guidance ni Lord, uh, direction ni Lord sa mga araw na ito? Come on, sa mga darating na araw. Come on! Amen? To ask God for wisdom is one of the biggest prayer that has a great reward. Alam niyo ba kapag humingi ka ng wisdom, ito yung isang matinding prayer na matindi rin ang reward? When was the last time you asked for it? Come on. Ano niyo po, the king, you know, after King David, you know, his son, when he was about to rule, you know, the kingdom of Israel, sabi ni Lord kay Solomon, okay, you can ask anything that you want and I will give it. Grabe, no? Imagine na, sabi ni Lord kay Solomon, ano man ang hingin mo, I'll give it to you. Pero anong pinagpray ni Solomon? Lord, I don't need riches. I don't need anything. All I ask is wisdom. All I ask, grabe, no? All I ask is wisdom. The wisest man. Man, you know, the wisest king. Hiningi niya hindi yaman, kundi wisdom from God. When was the last time you asked God for wisdom? By the way, nung hiningi ni Solomon yung wisdom, sabi ni Lord, hindi ka humingi ng ganito, ganito, sabi niya. You ask for wisdom and you ask, right? I will reward you, sabi ni Lord. Sino po rito yung, come on, come on, hallelujah. Huh? You see, eto po yan eh. Bakit importante that we ask God's wisdom? Because wisdom is seeing life from God's point of view. Did you hear that? Wisdom is seeing life from God's point of view. See, Vance Havner, you know, said these words, sabi niya, if I could stand, look at this, sabi nung writer na to, if I could stand for five minutes in his vantage point, in God's vantage point, and see the entire scheme of things as God sees it, Ano sabi ni Vance? Kahit five minutes lang, sabi niya. Na, in five minutes, makita ko lang kung ano nakikita ni Lord. Makita ko lang yung, you know, uh, the way God sees things. You know, sabi niya, siguro, after five minutes, ito mangyayari sa akin. How absurd would be my dreads? How ridiculous my fears and tears? Siguro, sabi niya, pag nakatayo ako ng five minutes, ako nakikita ko yung kung paano nakikita ni Lord. You know, ang lahat ng bagay, sabi niya, siguro pagtatawanan ko yung mga kinatatakutan ko, nakakatawa lang yung mga iniiyakan ko sa buhay. Yung mga winoworry ko, wala palang kwenta. If, I'm all, if I only see things, in God's point of view, that is wisdom from God. Wisdom is the God-given ability to see life with rare objectivity and to handle life with rare stability. Yan ang sabi ni Chuck Swindoll. To see life uh, God-given ability to see life with rare objectivity. Yung wisdom yun yung hindi ka, you know, uh, naapektuhan sa emosyon mo, sa nasa paligid mo. You, you, you know, you have that ability to see with objectivity. Pag sinabing objectivity, hindi ka basta-basta naapektuhan. Can I hear an Amen. But you remain stable. You can handle life with rare stability. And that is what we need today. Come on, give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Grow your faith. And you grow in wisdom. Seeing life from God's point of view will guide you 
in making wise decisions. I mean, ito ko kailangan natin ngayon. Kaya nga tama si uh, yung scientist kanina, eh, no? kaibigan ni uh, ni Albert Einstein. I'll be happy. Alam kong maraming scientists, medyo less brain and more wisdom. No? Kailangan natin ng mga God-given decisions today. Especially our leaders. Especially influencers today. Seeing life from God's point of view will guide you in making wise decisions. Why? Because the quality of your life will be determined by the quality of the decisions you make. Parang kailangan yung pumalakpak dyan para, no? Intindihin natin yan. The quality of your life will be determined by the quality of the decisions you make. That is what makes great leaders. They make sound, wise decisions. When you see life from God's perspective, you don't allow your situation to dictate your disposition. And everybody said, Amen to that. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Kapag nakikita mo yung life in God's point of view, you don't allow your situation to dictate your disposition. You ask God to give you what I call 3D wisdom. Everybody say 3D wisdom. Come on. Uh, tell your neighbor, I know, bago to, hallelujah. 3D wisdom, hallelujah. You know, Lord, give me, uh, kasi sabi, ask God, Lord, give me 3D wisdom. Ano yung 3D wisdom? Ito yan, discarte, disposition, decision. And everybody said, amen to that. Amen. Ha? Huh? Dapat, you know, Isa sa prayer mo, every day, Lord, give me 3D wisdom. Ano yung 3D? Hallelujah. Lord, no, ito yan. Bigyan niyo po ako ng tamang diskarte, tamang disposition, at tamang desisyon sa araw na ito. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord dyan. Hallelujah. I tell you, yun nang ang hinihintay ni Lord to grow in wisdom. Humingi ka ng 3D wisdom. Wisdom is wisdom in facing difficult challenges and problems and difficult people. Do you, do you have a, a struggling marriage these days? Ask God for wisdom. Are you financially challenged these days? Ask God for wisdom. Tell your neighbor, Rina, you need wisdom. Are you about to enter into a big project? Ask God for wisdom. Are you about to make a big decision that could change your life? Ask God for wisdom. Ask God. Sabi niya, He will give it to you. Amen. Grow your faith and grow in wisdom. How do you do that? Ask God for wisdom. Number two, how do you grow your faith? Get wisdom. Simple, simple lang ba? Come on, hallelujah. Pagkatapos mong humingi, o di get wisdom. Sabi ng Proverbs 4, 7, ano sabi sa atin? Look at this. The beginning, oh, hallelujah, of wisdom is this. Get wisdom, and whatever you get, get insight. And everybody said, Amen to that. Pwede mo mapalakpakan si Lord John, hallelujah, no? The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. And whatever you get, get inside. Hallelujah. Ang simple lang, no? Wisdom is the ability to apply biblical truths to all life's situation. How do you get wisdom? Where do you get wisdom? From the Word of God. It, this is the source of wisdom. Everybody said amen to that. Hindi sa internet. Amen. Dito. Nandito yung wisdom. And everybody said amen. 
Let's learn from the men of God in the Bible. Talagang, you know, like Joshua, like David, they, Moses, they, you know, they searched, they studied, they meditated, you know, they applied, you know, what is written in this book and God made them successful in everything that they do. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Ask God for wisdom. Get wisdom from the Bible, from the Word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lahat na enjoy sa pagbabasa, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Where do you get wisdom from God's Word? How do you get wisdom? By reading the Word, understanding the Word, and applying the Word. Yan ang taong puspos ng wisdom ni Lord. And everybody said, Amen. Come on, give God praise. Palakpakan mo muna si Lord. Whoo! Everybody say, Whoo! You see, the Hebrew word for wisdom means practical principles for living. Yan ang Hebrew word. No? Wisdom is a way of looking at life that has a practical result. It is the truth that guides your actions. The book of Proverbs, you know, it's a book of wisdom. It's very practical. It deals with wisdom in handling finances. The book of Proverbs talks about the value of friends. Lahat po na mga may friends, magsabi ng Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, i-encourage mo lang yung nasa tabi-tabi mo niya, sabi mo sa kanya, you're my friend. Hallelujah. Sinasabi din sa Alam niyo po ba sa uh, yung taong, you know, full of wisdom? Yun yung taong nakahanap ng good wife. Sabi sa Proverbs siya. Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Hallelujah. The glory of a good wife. Lahat ng mga lalaki masaya sa asawa nila magsabi ng Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Ang lalakas ang amen dito na mga lalaki. Kasi lagot kayo mamaya pag hindi kayo sumagot ng malakas sa amen dyan. Hallelujah. Kasama na ako dyan. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. No? That's why I find a good wife. See? Ang tawag dyan, wisdom. The dangers of temptations. Minabagit dyan sa Book of Wisdom sa Proverbs. The destruction of pride. The damage of gossip. The power of words. Yan ang binabanggit sa Book of Proverbs. Sabi nga dito, what is the difference between a smart person and a wise person? Ano raw pagkakaiba ng smart person sa wise person? Sabi dito, a smart person knows what to say and a wise person knows whether to say it or not. Lahat po nang nag-agree doon, magsabi ng Amen. No? O nga naman, ano? So, no? Eh, iba talaga yung wise person eh. A smart person knows what to say. But a wise person knows whether to say that or not. May mga, may mga taong, you know, puspos ng wisdom ni Lord. Hindi lahat ng bagay ay dapat mo sinasabi. How do you get wisdom? Surround yourself with godly, wise people. That's how you get wisdom. Proverbs 13, 20, the Passion Translation says, If you want to grow in wisdom, spend time with the wise. Everybody said amen to that. Walk with the wicked and you'll eventually become just like them. So NLT Translation puts it this way. Walk with the wise and become wise. Associate with fools and you'll get in trouble. Maybe for some, you find yourself in trouble today because maaring ang nangyari, ang tawag nga dyan, tell me who your friends and I'll tell you who you are. You take a look at the people you surround yourself with. Your friends, your companions, are they filled with the desire to live a wise and godly life? 
Pag medyo nahihirapan ka sa buhay, tanungin mo muna sarili mo. Sino ba mga pinapakinggan mo lately? Sino bang nag i sa sa'yo? Kayo po ba'y nandyan pa? Sino ang pinapayagan mo magsalita sa buhay mo? Hello? Hello? Maybe it's time na evaluate mo. Sino nga ba ang nakapaligid sa buhay ko? Are they godly? Are they full of wisdom? Sabi nung, walk with the wise and you will be wise. Tell your neighbor right now, join a life group. Hallelujah. Praise God. O diba, nasegue natin, no? Can I hear an amen? Palapakan nga natin si Lord. You know, uh, ito po, totoo ito. Uh, for those of you who are on church online, you know, you got saved, you get to know the Lord because of church online, and then you join a life group. Diba? Nung mag-join ka ng life group online, doon nagsimulang maayos ang buhay nyo? I've seen testimonies of that. I've heard testimonies of that. Kaya may mga hope stories tayo na ganyan. Na magmula nang nag-join ka ng life group, you know, people who are passionate about the Lord, about the Word, doon unti-unti na ayos ang buhay mo. Walk with the wise and you will be wise. Walk with the wise. Naging, and, you know, magiging maayos ang buhay mo. Maybe it's time to check. You know, yung buhay natin lately. Sino ang pinapakinggan natin? Sino nag i sa iyo sa online, sa internet? Join a life group. Tell your neighbor again, join a life group. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Kayo po na wala pang life group. Oh, hallelujah. Join a life group. Everybody said amen to that. Whew. How do you get wisdom? Surround yourself with godly, wise people. Get into the Word. Ask God for wisdom. Get wisdom by the Word. And surround yourself with godly, wise people. Number three, pursue wisdom. Actively pursue wisdom. And everybody said, Amen. When I say pursue wisdom, ito lang pong ibig sabihin niyan. Yes, pursue God, follow Him, seek Him, and love Him. Why? Because wisdom is a person and His name is Jesus Christ. And everybody said, come on, palapakan mo si Lord. And everybody said, Amen. Alam niyo po, ang ibig sabihin ng pursue wisdom is actually simply put, it's pursuing Jesus. Run after Him. Seek Him. Love Him. Follow Him. Hanapin mo lang siya. That, where, that is where wisdom starts. When you find yourself pursuing God, pursuing Jesus, you know, 1 Corinthians 1, 30 and 31, ito lang, ano sabi? For it is not from man that we draw our life, but from God. Pwede bang mag-amen tayo dyan? It is not from man that we draw our life, but from God, as we are being joined to Jesus, the Anointed One. And now, He is our God-given wisdom. Our virtue, our holiness, and our redemption, His name is Jesus Christ. And this fulfills what is written, if anyone boasts, let him only boast in all that the Lord has done. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord. Come on, church. Ask for wisdom. Get wisdom. Pursue wisdom. Follow Him. Seek Him. Love Him. 
hanapin mo siya ng buong puso, buong lakas. Wisdom comes from having a relationship with Jesus. It comes from walking with Him daily. Walking with Him daily will give you the wisdom of doing God's will, God's way. And everybody said amen to that. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord John. Alam niyo po, simple lang po ito eh. Pag maayos ang relasyon natin sa Kanya, aayusin niya ang mga bagay sa buhay natin. Palakpakan mo nga si Lord John. Ganun lang po yan. Babalik at babalik tayo sa Kanya. Ang dami po mga tao ngayon. Kinagawa ang lahat para maayos ito, maayos ito, maayos ito, maayos ito. You know what? Wisdom is simple. Go back to God. Find your purpose in Him. Seek His will. And you will do things His way. And guaranteed, si Lord tutulungan ka niya para maayos ang mga bagay-bagay sa buhay mo. Hanapin mo siya. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Seek first His kingdom and all these less important things will be added unto you. Come on, give God praise, hallelujah. Church, you know, this is Church Online 2.0 when we need, you know, Grace 2.0, we need Faith 2.0. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. Hallelujah. Grow your faith and you will grow in wisdom. I pray, you know, that beginning today, you know, pagkaroon ka ng, you know, yung, yung panibagong pangunawa na, oo nga pala, Lord, isa pala sa prayer na dapat ko ipinapanalangin everyday yung kailangan ko yung wisdom mo. At ikaw, ay naman, ikaw naman ay generous na ibinibigay mo ito sa akin. Lord, give me wisdom. Lord, I'm gonna, Lord God, just dig into your word. And maybe, Lord, I'm gonna help me to surround myself with people that are godly and full of wisdom that comes from you. At Lord, araw-araw, Pagising ko sa umaga, ikaw ang hahanapin ko. Ikaw ang mamahalin ko. Ikaw ang susundan ko. I will pursue you, Jesus, who is wisdom himself. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede ba natin palakpakan si Lord Church? Would you stand with me wherever you are right now in the comfort of your home? Baha siya kataraba, kandaraba, handaraba. Alam niyo po, ako po'y naniniwala na merong gustong gawing matindi si Lord sa buhay mo. Sa kapila ng mga hamon na pinagdadaanan natin, sa kapila ng mga testing na pinagdadaanan natin, ang Diyos ay makagagawa ng mga himala, hallelujah, ng mga solusyon, hallelujah, ng mga sagot sa panalangin, ng mga breakthrough, come on, ng mga provision sa buhay mo. Palakpakan mo si Lord John, hallelujah. And all it takes is for you to grow in faith so you can grow in the wisdom that comes from God. Sino po excited sa mga darating na araw na to? Hallelujah. Sino po excited na sa kabila ng mga hindi magagandang sitwasyon, oh, the wisdom of God will come upon you at makakaranas ka ng breakthrough sa mga darating na araw na ito. Bumalak pa kanya ako ngayon na God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. You know, Chuck Swindoll, you know, said these words, and I want to, uh, I want us to show this on the screen. Ang sabi niya, what comes from the Lord? Because it is impossible for humans to manufacture it. Ano, ano ba yung galing kay Lord na impossible ng ma- manufacture ng mga tao? Sabi niya, you know what is that? You know what comes from the Lord? Come on, what's the word? What's the word? Shout it out. What comes from the Lord? Because it is impossible for humans to manufacture it. Alam nyo? <laughs> Wisdom. Kaya tama si ano, you know? Hindi ko ibigan ni Albert Einstein. I'll be happier if more scientists have less brain and more wisdom. 
Where, you get, where do you get wisdom? One person. His name is Jesus Christ. Next, sabi ni, ano, what comes from humans naman? Ano man, naman, ano man naman galing sa mga tao? Because it is impossible for the Lord to experience it. What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Impossible mag worry si Lord. Come on, hallelujah. Palapakan na natin si Lord. Oh, ano yung galing sa atin na imposible yung maranasan ng Diyos? Oh, Impossible yung mag worry si Lord. Sino po, sino po ang, uh, uh, yung para bagang talagang uh, sa kapampakan, may papasno ko na to know na God does not worry. Hallelujah. Come on, God doesn't experience worry. Pwede mo palapakan si Lord. Dyan. Kung ikaw ay nag-worry, si Lord hindi nag-worry. Everybody said amen. So ano yung last line? Look at this. So what is it that brings wisdom and dispels worry? It's worship. It's worship. Come on, it's worship. Whoo! Sino po rito yung pag nagtaas ka ng kamay, sumamba ka lang sa kanya? Yun ang panahon na tinataboy ni Lord yung worry. Yun ang panahon na kinakausap ka ng Diyos. Yun ang palaw na yun, napupuspus ka ng kanyang presensya, napupuspus ka ng kanyang kawalalatian, napupuspus ka ng, oh, halip, pinupuspus ka ng Diyos. Oh, ng wisdom. And everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. Come on, palapakan mo nga si Lord yan. Hallelujah. Sabi nga, what is it that brings wisdom and dispels worry? It's worship. Everybody say worship. Come on, God. Come on, give God praise to that. Hallelujah. Kaya sa atin, you know, napaka-importante ng worship. Hallelujah. We were created to worship God. And that is where you get wisdom. That is where you drive away worry. Come on, palakpakan mo si Lord John. When you find yourself in the very presence of God, seeking, hallelujah, worshiping, hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Shaka, Taraba. Could you just lift your hands with me right now, church? Oh, Rabba, Shaka, Taraba, Handa, Rabba, Handa, Rabba. Oh, come on, lift them up high, hallelujah. You need wisdom, worship Him, hallelujah. You need, hallelujah. You want to drive out worry in your spirit? Worship Him, hallelujah, Rabba, Shaka, Taraba. Father God, right now, I pray that you give us a fresh experience of worship today. Because when we worship, Lord, we see things in your point of view, Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, Rababa. We see God high and lifted up. We see you, Lord God, in control. Hallelujah. We see God. Oh, we see you faithful. We see you good. We see you the God who answers prayer. Hallelujah. Rabba, shaka, taraba. Lord, magkaroon po kami ng breakthroughs of worship sa araw na ito. Father God, come on, church. Oh, Rabba, shaka, taraba. Handa, Rabba, 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 Rabba. Come on. Hallelujah. Sabi nga, last Sunday, don't try to fix your problem. Fix your focus right now. Focus. Fix your focus. Focus on God. Focus on Jesus. Worship Him. See Him as He is. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, thank you, Jesus. Worship. We worship.
Ah. To be happy is to be filled with the wisdom of God. Oh, yes, Lord. God is restoring your joy today. Hallelujah. Come on, just receive that in Jesus' name. God is setting you free right now. He's setting your spirit free right now. God is taking away, you know, that clouded mental struggles in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Rabbi. God is allowing you to encounter truth and that truth is setting you free today. Come on, palapakan mo si Lord Jan. Hallelujah, 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 Rabbi. Sakata, Rabbi, handa, Rabbi. Father God, we are excited of the, Lord God, these coming days, Father God. These coming days, Lord God, where we will experience the wisdom from above, oh God. The wisdom from above that is first of all, Lord God, full of peace and joy. Oh, Rabash, that's the peace and the wisdom of God that is in us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I speak peace into your heart right now. Yung mga nagugulamihan ng puso sa oras na ito. The wisdom of God brings peace. Because you're able to see everything in God's point of view. And when you see that, you'll say to yourself, wala palang kwenta yung aking kinatatakutan at iniiyakan. Thank you, Father. Every good and perfect gift comes from our Father in Heaven to Him who there is no shadow of turning to Him who is faithful then is faithful now and will be faithful till the end hallelujah yes yes all heads are bowed all eyes are closed i want you to for those of you who have never experienced you know the freedom the joy of surrendering your life to jesus christ this is the day where you could surrender everything to Him. Bigay mo lahat sa Kanya. And you will experience peace and joy that you have never experienced before. Would you pray this prayer? Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus today I come to you. Today I come to you. My, wisdom, my wisdom, my Savior, my, Savior, my, Redeemer, my Redeemer, Jesus, Jesus forgive, me, forgive me, cleanse me, cleanse me and set me free set today. Me free today. I repent of all my I sins. Of all my sins. I, open my heart I open my heart and receive you, receive you as my Savior, as my Savior and, Lord. and Lord. I believe in my heart, in my heart that, you came, that you came, you died, for, you died me. for me, you rose from, you the, rose dead. from the dead, and now, and now I, receive I receive the gift, the gift of, eternal of eternal life. life. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. From this day, from this forward, day forward, I will follow I will you. Follow. I will seek you. I will seek you. I will love you. I love you. And I will honor you. In your name I pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Pwede ba nating palakpakan si Lord Church? Come on, hallelujah. If you just prayed that prayer with all your heart, you know what the Bible says? If anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creation. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. Welcome to your new life in Jesus Christ. Church, pwede ba natin silang palakpakan? You know, kahit na nasa online tayo, maramdaman nila, you know, yung welcome natin sa kanila. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. You are now a child of God and you can come to Him anytime and pray to Him. And maybe the very first prayer that you could ask Him today, Lord, I ask for wisdom. Bless my life. And everybody said, Amen and amen. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise, church? Hallelujah. Woo. Are you blessed today, church? Hallelujah. Praise God. Pwede ba natin palapakan muli si Lord, church? Hallelujah. Come on. Sino po yung nag expect ng matinding breakthrough this week? Come on. Hallelujah. Answered prayer. Hallelujah. Open doors. Hallelujah. Sino po gustong makaranas ng matinding favor ni Lord? Ano, sa, sa, sa lingong ito. Come on. Hallelujah. Ask God for wisdom. Amen. Come on. Leave your hands. I want to bless you with the prayer of the Lord. Bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord makes His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord bless you with His shalom. 
The Lord bless you with wisdom. The Lord bless you with answered prayers, with supernatural provision, supernatural protection. The Lord bless you with open doors. The Lord bless your finances. The Lord bless your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all shout, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Walk in wisdom. 